everybody, it's Angela with Prettify Your Life. And I am going to start my how-to video for my 4th of July doorscape. It's been several years since I've actually done a July 4th doorscape, which surprised me. So, and honestly, I have had a severe case of crafting block. So, I've had to work through this. And I'm coming up with something completely different than I've done before. So, I hope you like it. So the first thing with our doorscape is to create these little medallions. And I've done the U and the S. And now I'm gonna do the A with you. So that's the first element in the door. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're gonna need is a 14 inch cake round. You can find these in the Wilton aisle, the cake decorating aisle. I love these. I use these a lot um, because it's a perfect circle. It's already done for you. Boom. I have made. I have measured uh, from this from uh, this this side and this side to get my seven inch center, and I've marked it just for a reference. Okay. Then I have my three ribbons, all of which I got at Hobby Lobby. The red and white are the 30 foot rolls of the satin wired ribbon, okay? You can find these in the bridal section. And then the 30 foot roll of navy, but it's not wired. Navy is hard to find for some reason. So this one, um, it's a little bit different sheen. I really don't know what kind of ribbon this is, and it doesn't say. So um, I think this is also in the bridal section, but I had all of this ribbon. I did have to go, um, go to Hobby Lobby and get a couple extra rolls of red. I was running low on this particular red. But as far as the navy and the white, I already had that. I'm trying to cut back on, trying to cut back on the amount of craft supplies I buy. Uh, my husband's in an industry where the economy is really bad right now. So I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be good. Although it's so challenging because you know I like to shop, you know I like to buy cute craft stuff. So anyway, um, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing to do is cut all of your loops. These are all eight inches of eight inches of red, white, and blue. And um, you're going to need approximately 19 reds, uh, 13 whites, and seven blue. I say approximately because I did, I've done two and I was like one off on one. So it, it kind of depends. You can't always completely mimic what you do on one thing so I mean if you if you're off by one or two it's not a huge deal as long as to the naked eye they look similar okay so the first thing you need to do is I forgot to mention earlier you also need a stapler it doesn't have to be this nifty one but I highly recommend it I got this last year when I was doing mums and it's the heavy duty one um, with this kind of grip and I kind of love it. Um, you can get it at like Office Depot or Staples, I guess. I ordered mine on Amazon. I have Prime. I love Amazon. I kind of live out in the semi-country, so I'm all about not having to go all over town um, to get something. So Amazon Prime, I love you. So anyway, I've got the heavy duty stapler. And all you're gonna do for all of these is fold it in half and staple it. You could hot glue it, but I didn't want to sit around and wait for all that hot glue to dry. So we do that for all of the loops and then we start placing. Now because this navy ribbon is a little bit different and it's a little bit more springy, it doesn't have the wire to stay put where I want it to. I staple both sides on that. Okay? So let me get all of the loops stapled and we'll go to our next step. Okay. Now I have 
all of my little loops cut and stapled. And now this is very much, you know, I broke my creativity block by just kind of messing around with stuff. My, my first thing in my head didn't work, so I was just kind of messing around with some stuff. And I thought, oh, it came to me when I started playing around this with this. This is just like um, if you were making a mum. I've used this technique to make on the little mum rounds, these little um, loops that go all the way around and then you put the flower in the middle. It's very similar to mums. So that was kind of part of the inspiration. So then we just put some glue down and really it's your preference how much you want um, the ribbon to hang over. I do about half, okay? And then the key is just to overlap a tiny bit so you don't have a whole lot of the of the cake thing, uh, the cake circle showing, okay? <clears throat> so just kind of like that. It's not hard. It's, uh, it's pretty quick actually. So I'm going to finish up the red and then we'll move on to the white. Okay, I realized after I turned off my video that a lot of you don't know what mums are. Um, that's a Texas football tradition um, where I'm from and where I live. And in homecoming, they make these mums. Um, they're smaller and they have a flower in them and all kinds of, just Google Texas homecoming mums if you're not familiar with it. Anyway, this on a larger scale, although in Texas not so large, um, is reminiscent of a homecoming mom. So then uh, the next step would be to put our white in the second roll, row and I do it just eyeball it however however how you want it. I just want to cover up the staples and the bad edge. So you do the same same technique. Go around and just overlap it slightly. Okay? Now, just like that. I'm going to go all the way around and then we'll go to the navy. Okay, now this is really an easy, quick project. Um, and it, I kind of like it. I mean, Think about it. you could do this for Halloween. How fun would that be? Um, you know, it's it's got a high impact and it's relatively inexpensive and it goes quick actually. So next is the navy again. Same thing. Just put it, you know, where you want it. And go all the way around. Then we'll talk about the middle. Okay, now that we've got that done, I'm going to take a screwdriver and we have our center marked and I'm just going to keep your fingers away from it or you'll stab your hand and I'm just going to poke some holes on either side of the X, okay? Then I'm going to take two red pipe cleaners and I'm just going to twist them together in the middle and flatten them out. And this is what I'm going to use to tie them up on my door. You could use wire, but I find with foam, it cuts through any kind of foam. Straight up flat wire cuts through foam, can cut through foam easier. So I like to have some padding with pipe cleaners. So I'm just going to weave the pipe cleaner each end into each of those holes you just made. Even it out and we're going to pull it through. And then to, to give it a little bit more added security, I'm going to glob on some hot glue and give this a chance to cool and then we'll cover this up. Okay. Okay, the last step 
is to cover the middle. Now with this one, I cut it a little close. I should have got all of these staples a little bit closer together, so I'm gonna have to fudge this a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, kind of loop. I could probably put more than one. I could do one more little layer of smaller ones, I guess, but I've already done the other two and I kind of wanted it to be the same. So I'm just gonna kind of loop a piece in here and cover as many of these staples as possible. We're gonna have the letter that goes over the center, so it's not a huge deal, but I should have been a little bit more careful getting these, getting that circle tighter. So learn from my mistakes on that. So I'm just gonna glue this down there. And over there. And kind of press it down. So like I said, we're gonna cover that. So it's not gonna be a huge deal. But um, I should have been a bit more careful with that. So I'll have to fudge it a little bit, but we'll make it work. So let's go on to the letter. Okay, you need some foam board. I get this at the dollar store. Um, it comes in big sheets. And this, these are the letters you can get from Hobby Lobby. Um, sorry, I'm having camera issues. These are the letters you can get at Hobby Lobby. And I'm having issues with letters. I, you know, I don't want to always use the wood letters um, while the craft stores are getting a lot more wood letters in stock for certain things. Um, they're still too heavy. And then this is too thick. I don't want to paint it. Honestly, it would be awesome if the craft stores would come out with thin styrofoam letters in white. Wouldn't that be awesome? Craft stores, if you're listening, that would be awesome. But anyway, um, I'm just going to use this as a template. I can always, I have letters everywhere of all kinds, shapes, sizes, everything. So uh, I had to buy this, but I'm sure I will be using this in the future. So no big deal. Even if it's just for the stencil, I don't have to create a stencil and cut that out first. It cuts down on my steps. So we're just going to take regular pen and we're going to trace around this it doesn't have to be perfect you're going to cut it out uh, save the hard letter for last at the inside okay like I say it's not perfect you can kind of draw it in now, if you don't have one of these rolling rotary cutters, get one. They're awesome. Not just, I would have one for fabric and I'd have one for, um, you know, chipboard, cardboard, whatever. It's awesome on this kind of stuff. So for a lot of the straight edges, I'm just going to use the rotary cutter. It's a lot quicker. Um, and then when I have to get down to the nitty gritty, I'll use my exacto knife, but see how, how fast that is? Love it. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Covering it with glitter anyway. No biggie. Um, and if, this is a self healing mat, which is also a must in my opinion. I have a couple of different sizes. Um, go ahead and invest. In the gigantic one really I mean honestly it's awesome okay so now we're in the small areas here at the bottom and in the center it's when you take your exacto knife always have extra blades if I've learned anything have all kinds of extra blades laying around it never fails it'll be 
midnight and you'll be almost done with the project and your blade's dull. So, got that. There we go. Okay, now let's take some Mod Podge, foam brush, silver glitter. I am using, sorry, while I reach in front of the camera, I have this little mat I put under. What this project has reminded me of is I need a much larger glitter tray. Um, I love this glitter tray. Lost the stopper. Not a huge deal. But I need a huge one. So I think I'm going to be going on Amazon after this to look for one. So I'm using Mod Podge, the gloss. Use whatever you have around. It's not that big a deal. Um, have your glitter ready. I take off the lid. It's a pain in the butt to sprinkle it. Excuse me. It's a pain to um, sprinkle it and have it jam up and stuff. So I just take the top off of that. So if you don't have Mod Podge, that's another must. I mean, seriously, Mod Podge rocks. Um, just slather it on. Get your uh, glitter. Just start throwing it on. The more the better. You can always go back and do a second coat. Um, I probably should have on the others, but I'm willing to accept one coat this time for this craft. No, not a huge deal, but I have done second coats in the past. There. Cute. Gotta love glitter. Now I'm gonna let it dry. So the last thing I did was just hot glue the A right onto the middle, pushing uh, it parts underneath where it hits the ribbon. Um, you can do this because it's light because I did use styrofoam, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to use styrofoam is because it's lightweight. So let's put the door together. Okay, everybody. So here is the finished project. And I have to say, um, while it's one of the more simple doors I've done, I happen to really enjoy looking at it. It makes me happy. I think it's kind of dramatic. And I have to say, this is not my first choice. I had some bunting that I was going to hang, but because of the dimensions of my door and stuff, it just wouldn't look right. So I remember remember seeing this trick on Pinterest, and all these, all this is, are plastic tablecloths and those really big rolls you can get like at Hobby Lobby. I just draped them and put them on the ceiling hooks that I have in my brick mortar and just draped them on there red white and blue and you can use your coupon on those they're normally fifteen dollars but there's a huge amount of plastic tablecloth on each roll so that's all that is i already had red and white and i bought some blue with a forty percent off coupon and um then at the points where i draped the tablecloths at the hooks i wired in my little usa medallions that i showed you how to make and I had already bought, purchased this flag, um, metal flag door hanger from Hallmark, I believe. And oops, the wind blew that, but you get the idea. So super simple, which I'm glad about because it's incredibly humid here in Houston and the mosquitoes are still out. So this went up in a flash, really happy with it. And it's really dramatic and, um, easy for anyone to do so 
Hope you like it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.